A quick new idea, daily, from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. Youth climate activists have risen to prominence as environmental leaders in recent years. And while this can point to increased awareness and political action, the solutions to climate change will take one of the greatest transformations in society since the Industrial Revolution. Luisa Neubauer is a climate activist and organizer of the School Strike for Climate movement in Germany. And in today's talk, she reminds us that change is dependent on all of us to drastically shift culture. Usually, in these kind of TED Talks, I would now say how it's overly hopeful how we young people are going to get this sorted, how we're going to save the future and the planet and everything else, how we young people striking for the climate are going to fix this, usually. But this is not how this works. This is not how this crisis works. The world would have to see changes we have never experienced before. We'd have to fully decarbonize economies by 2050, and transform the distribution of powers that is currently allowing these fossil fuel giants and political leaders to stay on top of the game. We are talking of nothing less but the greatest transformation since the Industrial Revolution. We are talking, if you want to put it that way, we are talking of a climate revolution in a minimum amount of time. We wouldn't have a single further year to lose. And in any case, for any of that change to happen, the world needs to stop relying on one or two or three million school strikers to sort this out. Yes, we are great. We are going to keep going and we are going to go to places no one ever expected us. Yes, but we are not the limit. We are the start. This is not a job for a single generation. This is a job for humanity. And this is when all eyes on you. For this change to happen, we will have to get one million things sorted. It's an incredibly complex thing after all. But there are some things that everyone can get started with. Bad news first, if you thought I would tell you now to cycle more or eat less meat, to fly less or to go second-hand shopping, sorry. This is not that easy, but here comes the good news. You are more than consumers and shoppers, even though the industry would like you to keep yourself limited to that. No, me and you, we are all political beings, and we can all be part of this answer. We can all be something that many people call climate activists. Yay? So what are these first steps? Four first steps that are essential to get everything else done. Four first steps and that everyone can get started with. Four first steps that decide about everything that can happen after. So what's that? Number one, we need to drastically reframe our understanding of a climate activist, our understanding of, our understanding of who can be the answer to this. A climate activist isn't that one person that has read every single study and is now spending every afternoon handing out leaflets about vegetarianism and shopping halls. No, a climate activist can be everyone. Everyone who wants to join a movement of those who intend to grow old on a planet that prioritizes protection of natural environments and happiness and health for the many over the destruction of the climate and the wrecking of the planet for the profits of the few. And since the climate crisis is affecting every single part of our social, of our political and of our private life, we need climate activists everywhere, in every corner, not only in every room, but also in every city and country and state and continent. Second, I need you to get out of that zone of convenience, away from a business as usual that has no tomorrow. All of you here, you are 
either a friend or a family member, you are a worker, a colleague, a student, a teacher, or in many cases, a voter. All of this comes along with a responsibility that this crisis requires you to grow up to. Does the company that employs you or that sponsors you is on track of meeting the Paris Agreement? Does your local parliamentarian know that you care about this, that you want this to be a priority in every election? Does your friend, best friend know about this? Do you read a newspaper or write a newspaper? Great. Then let them know you want them to report on this on every issue and that you want them to challenge decision makers in every single interview. If you're a singer, sing about this. If you're a teacher, teach about this. And if you have a bank account, tell your bank you're going to leave if they keep investing in fossil fuels. And of course, on Fridays, you should all know what to do. Thirdly, leaving the zone of convenience works best when you join forces. One person asking for inconvenient change is mostly inconvenient. Two, five, ten, one hundred people asking for inconvenient change are hard to ignore. The more you are, the harder it gets for people to justify a system that has no future. Power is not something that you either have or don't have. Power is something you either take or leave to others, and it grows once you share it. We young people on the streets, we school strikers, we are showing how this can work out. One single school striker will always be one single school striker, or Greta Thunberg. Two, five, ten, one thousand people striking school are movement, and that's what we need everywhere. No pressure. And number four, finally, and this is probably the most important aspect of all of this. I need you to start taking yourselves more seriously. If there's one thing I've learned during seven months of organizing climate action, is that if you don't go for something, chances are high that no one else will. The most powerful institutions of this world have no intention of changing the game they're profiting from most. So there's no point in further relying on them. That's scary, I know. That's a huge responsibility, a huge burden on everyone's shoulders, yes. But this also means, if we want to, we can say, have a say in this. We can be part of that change, we can be part of that answer. And that's quite beautiful, right? So let's give it a try, let's rock and roll. Let's flood the world with climate activists. Let's get out of the zones of convenience and join forces and start taking ourselves more seriously. Imagine what this world would look like where children would grow up knowing their future was this one great adventure to look forward to, nothing to be scared of. What this world would look like where the next climate conference is this great happening of people who come together, who had heard the voices of millions, who would then roll up their sleeves ready to create real change. You know, I dream of this world where geography classes teach about the climate crisis as this one greatest challenge that was won by people like you and me who had started acting in time because they'd understood they had nothing to lose and everything to win. So why not give it a go? No one else will save the future for us. This is more than an invitation. Spread the word. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in Munich, Germany. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx München. Visit TED.com slash TEDx Shorts to listen to the full talk and learn more about TEDx Shorts. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you tomorrow.